Hello and welcome to today's video. We'll be talking about two new features on the Actable AI platform, namely the Partial Dependence Plot, PDP, and Individual Conditional Expectation, or ICE. These powerful techniques are widely used in the world of data science and machine learning to help us gain deeper insights into the behavior of our models. Let's start with the PDP. This is a visualization tool that allows us to visualize the marginal effect of a feature on the predicted outcome. In other words, it allows us to understand the relationship between a specific feature in our dataset and the predicted outcome of our model. It provides us with a simple yet informative way to interpret the impact of a particular feature on the model's predictions on average. Therefore, this enables us to gather insights into the feature's importance and its relationship with the target variable. Now let's move on to the Individual Conditional Expectation, or ICE. While PDP provides us with an average view, ICE takes us a step further. It gives us a more granular picture by displaying the model's predictions for each individual data point as we vary the selected feature. Usually, for continuous variables, the PDP and ICE values are plotted on the same uh, graph. We can see this in action on the Actable AI platform. So here we have computed um, an analytic, a regression model in fact, to predict healthcare charges. We have a number of features such as the age, BMI, whether the person is a smoker and so on. And for each of these features, we have a DPDP and ICE. For example, here we can see the age. So this is a continuous variable. That is, it is composed of numerical values. And we can see that there is a clear trend that as the age increases and leaving all other uh, feature values constant, the trend is that the healthcare charges increase. Now, these blue lines are the individual conditional expectation plots because they refer to a single data point, whereas the red line corresponds to the average of all of these values. You can also focus on a single data point, for example, the average, by double clicking on that label. And here we can see the relationship even clearer. So as mentioned, this corresponds to the PDP plot. We can also see other values here, which are also numerical. In terms of the categorical features, the PDP plot is represented as a bar chart, whereas the ICE plot is represented as a box plot summarizing all of the individual features. If we have a look, for example, at the smoker feature, we can see that there is a very heavy um, influence on whether the person is a smoker or not on the healthcare charges. So in this case, it is very clear that a person who is a smoker tends to have much higher healthcare costs compared to a person who doesn't smoke. This is reflected in both the average uh, values, the PDP plot, and also the ICE values. So in this way, both the PDP and ICE play essential roles in model interpretation and can reveal valuable insights. PDP is great for understanding the general trend and direction of a feature's influence, while ICE allows us to identify variations and individual behaviors within that trend. And that concludes our brief journey into partial dependence plots and individual conditional expectation. I hope you found this information useful and please feel free to check out the Actable AI documentation where there is information on all the analytics available on the platform as well as a glossary of key data science and machine learning terms including about PDP and ICE. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.